Welcome to the new apartment. Today is the first of many moving vlogs because Hayley and I finally moved out of our apartments and into one together. So here we are in the new apartment, surrounded by boxes and projects that need to be done pretty urgently, but we'll get to that. We'll get there at a later date. For today's video, I just wanna start from the very beginning and show you a small amount of the apartment viewing process because I've got a little bit of that footage. And then I wanna show you what we did on the first few days of getting this apartment. I really wanted to deep clean this whole space and give it the best start that I could because it was a little stinky when we moved in. We'll talk about that as well. <laughs> Today, let's just, let's get started. So the apartment viewing process was interesting. Apartment hunting in Korea was a little tricky. I could make a whole video about this or dedicate some of a video to this if you'd like to hear more. I don't think it's relevant for everyone so I won't go into too much depth. Yeah, we had to find a place. We wanted a villa instead of an apartment. It's still, to me, it's an apartment. It's in a little building and there's many other units in here, but it feels more like a home than being in an office tell or a different kind of like high rise apartment block. And we wanted to live somewhere a little bit more suburban because I used to live in a very busy neighborhood as did Hayley. And we wanted just a bit more peace and quiet, some more space for the dogs. And I think we found that. I think we found it. <laughs> Before I started searching with Hayley for our apartment, my friend Claire was looking for apartments for herself and she actually offered to have me tag along so I could get an idea of what the process would be like. So I tagged along with her and looked at a couple of cool apartments in a different neighborhood just to get an idea of price, key money, size, what kind of questions you wanna ask the real estate agent. This is really helpful. So thank you to Claire because she is very knowledgeable. She is Korean, so she helped me so much. And I also really like being nosy, so I had a lot of fun looking around. A couple of weeks later, it was time for me and Hayley to go and look at a few apartments. And we found an English speaking realtor. She's so nice, she's great. She picked out a couple of other units to look at that were in the same kind of price range with a similar amount of features. And we took a look at those. By the way, sorry, some of this footage is vertical. My bad, I filmed it for TikTok and I forgot to ask Hayley to film it horizontal, but we got our apartment horizontal. I think we knew we were gonna be in this one, so it's fine. <laughs> The first apartment that we saw, I liked it because it was very bright and airy. I think it had two separate rooms and it felt very small compared to what we've got, which is absolutely ginormous for a Korean villa. <laughs> they just remodeled it, but they made it all gray and it felt like a dentist office. So wasn't really for us. So we passed on that one. The next one we saw, it would have definitely been a project, that's for sure. It had two bedrooms and a large veranda and then like a kitchen and sitting room area. And it was just really dark. It was north facing. They had all these stickers on the window, which we were told we could take off when we moved in if we wanted it. But I just couldn't get a feel for how we could make the space nice. They'd even blacked out the windows in the bedroom. <laughs> It was not, not cute. Long story short, that apartment didn't come with any appliances and we couldn't negotiate to get some in there. So we didn't want that one. And then we viewed this apartment and I knew I was gonna like this one because it's got these funky vintage windows. They're the glass block windows that everyone probably thinks is really outdated. I think they're so cool. They give off like 60s vibes. They have them in the verandas in both the sitting room and the bedroom. The space is so huge. The sitting room's massive. The bedroom is even bigger. It's got this interesting vintagey butter yellow kitchen, which I don't hate, but I do want to do something with it. The thing I like most about this house is that it's got a lot of gorgeous natural light coming in from every angle. Not south facing, sadly, but whatever. Northeast and west, I guess, it's fine. The bathroom. The bathroom needs work, but if anyone's gonna do that work, it's gonna be me and I'm gonna make it really good. I love a project, so it's fine. And then the bedroom is absolutely ginormous. It's also got a little closet area, so we can have like a walk-in wardrobe, which I've never had before, so yeah. It's got a lot of charm. There's a lot of work that needs to go into it, but I'm really, really happy with it. Hayley loves it too, and it's a really nice, big and open space for the dogs. 
So we took this one and as far as the appliances go, we were able to negotiate a fridge and a washing machine. We then had two weeks to be able to move out of our apartments, which was chaotic in itself. But before that, I really wanted to come in and clean the space because it was stinky. It took a couple of days. I pulled out all the stops and it was so worth it because we got it to a much better place. Anyway, enough of my voice. Let's jump into the cleaning. Going over to the new house today and I'm taking a whole suitcase full of cleaning products and my mini steamer because I bought one of those just for this house. It was a great deal, it was like 30,000 won. So I'm gonna take all of that stuff and I'm gonna clean. And I think tonight is the last full night in this place, which is bittersweet, but it's very exciting. So let's um, head over to the new place. So we've seen the before shots, but this is what we're working with today. A little bit closer up so you can see what I'm trying to clean. And honestly, in our landlady's defense, this place was actually cleaner than I expected. It's just a little bit old and there's flaking paint everywhere. Whoever decided to paint these tiles in emulsion paint, jail immediately. <laughs> Anyway, this is what we're working with. Some makeovers to come, of course, but today we have to clean everything from top to bottom first before we can even think about doing anything fun. Oh no, that just came out of the tap. yeah i forgot that the house had been sat empty for a while and i needed to leave the taps running for like 15 minutes first <laughs> supplies that I need for cleaning in here. There's rust that I didn't realize was a thing. Oh, my phone's ringing. I'm going to Dyson. In all honesty, on this first day cleaning the house, I felt really overwhelmed and I was like, what have we got ourselves in for? It was so stinky. It had been left empty for so long. So I thought a good old trip to Daiso would cheer me up, which it did except I'm pulling apart all of the shelving units in Daiso by accident, my bad. But Daiso really does put a smile on my face, what can I say? I didn't get anything exciting, just a few things that we needed and some things to make the house smell a little bit better. And Daiso is truly the best place, everything's so cheap and affordable and I feel like it has healing properties because it healed me today. Whoever painted these tiles sucks. And I'm in the mood to scrape it off, so let's do that. Mm. 
I don't know why I got so distracted from cleaning that I started seeing if I could peel some of the paint off of the tiles. I realized pretty quickly that this was not the main agenda of the day and I did get back to work, but I just wanted to see if it would come up and if I could save them or if I'd have to go in with some real tile paint, which I think is what I'm gonna have to do. Anyway, I managed to get off this nasty sticker behind the sink, which was a really nice win for me. Look how satisfying that was. We're gonna come back to the sink a little bit later, but in the meantime, I thought it was time to try and get rid of some of these really suspicious looking moldy stains out of the silicone on the window. We did a full look around and there's no other mold in the kitchen. So I thought I could just try and bleach it out in the hopes that it was just probably from a previous tenant who let the place get a little bit too humid, maybe in the summer. Bleach is never the answer for mold, but uh, I just wanted to see if I could get it out. I couldn't, I'll probably have to re-silicone, but that's okay. Another problem we had today is that the gas wasn't working, so there was no hot water. So when I cleaned the floors, I had to make do and improvise with what I had. Look at this tap, right? It's so gross, but I found this in Daiso. It says stain cleaner. It was a thousand won, which is like 60p. I'm gonna try it on here and I have a good feeling about it. I tried a little bit on the rest of the sink and it came up really well, so shut up. Shut up, no, look at that. That looks so good. Oh my God, you can't see what I'm doing. Look at that, that's insane. Wait, look at this, see this? Oh, no, that's so good. Are you kidding me? Okay, that has really cheered me up today. Wow. Okay, let's do the rest of it. <gasps> what? Stop it, that looks so good. Let's do the rest. A fun fact about Korea is that you can't find a lot of the cleaning products here that you can in the UK. I saw someone was trying to import the pink stuff when I went into um, an underground shopping center in Gangnam. It was like 20 times the price that it is in the UK. And I couldn't justify that. And you cannot find cleaning paste anywhere. But today of all days, I magically found some in Daiso and look how well it cleaned up the tap. I was so happy. I thought the tap was a goner. Anyway, off into the bedroom to do some more cleaning of the floors with no hot soapy water. It's day two, I'm gonna clean the bathroom. I had a lot of luck with that cleaning paste yesterday on the kitchen sink, and I tried it on a few areas in the bathroom, but the shower is really bad. It's really, really bad. I ordered another one to replace it, but I did a test patch with that cream cleaner, and it worked, so I might as well use that instead and return the shower thingy. Let's see how it cleans up, and then we'll go from there. I just heard a big thud outside, like something crashed. It was all the packages, the guys just delivered them. Oops.
You can see where I did the patch here. <laughs> Part of me doesn't want to bore you with all of this footage of me getting rid of rust, but then there's another part of me that thinks it's really satisfying to watch it come off. And I was just very satisfied this day to find a cleaning product that works. This piece in the bathroom was not getting scrubbed up very well, so I ended up using a scourer. I will say, I probably wouldn't have tried this if my plan B wasn't to replace the entire shower bar anyway, and I'd already ordered one. But uh, yeah, this did definitely scuff off a little bit of the shine. So don't recommend if you're trying to keep your shower bar, but it did get rid of all of the rust. <laughs> With all of this work, it probably took me an hour and a half to do all of the bathroom and sadly, unfortunately, the shower bar, I didn't realize it, but it's broken and it won't actually hold the shower head. I wondered why it was on a separate piece next to the shower bar, but there we go. I think I'm just gonna replace this, but I'm glad that I got it cleaned up for now because as of filming this video, it's been a couple of weeks and I still haven't gotten around to replacing it because I've had more pressing issues to deal with. So at least we've had a clean shower room, even if it's kind of broken, but it won't be for long. Shit. <laughs> I have more to go, but that's a really good start. There's one more thing that I want to show you that we cleaned, but this was about a week or two later and we've already moved a few things in, so that's why it's not empty, but we noticed that there was a really stale smell coming from the sink in the kitchen and it was making the apartment smell really damp when we'd walk through the door and it was sticking to our clothes and I honestly thought at first it was just because the apartment had sat empty for a while. Once you run the taps, usually you run them for about 10-15 minutes everything is a lot better because the trap pipe will empty all of that stale water and it will move on through the system but guess what korea doesn't have mandatory trap pipes especially not in their older buildings didn't realize this for the longest time so <sighs> what we were doing before we figured this out is that once every three or four days we were pouring hot water down the drain to clear it then using bicarbonate soda about a cup of that and then topping that up with vinegar letting it pass through the pipes and then adding the hot water through once all the bubbles had dissolved just to clear everything through the pipe now that would work perfectly if you had a little drain trap but we don't it did get rid of like 60 percent of the smell not gonna lie it was great but the sinks here go straight down so all of the apartments below us their sink smells come straight back up which is gonna be fun in the summer after doing that a few times and realizing there was still a bit of a, a whiff, I did a lot of digging on Reddit. Good old Reddit. Someone will ask a question like four years ago and oh, the answers are all there. And the answer is you need to block the sinkhole, which is why a lot of Korean apartments come with like a sinkhole cover, like that's really, really big and you just cover up the whole hole and then the smells do not come back out. I also put a little bit of, there are a couple of drainage holes in the sink as well, and for now I have just taped those up with some self duct tape. Not my finest work, but we're gonna figure out what to do. You know what? <sighs> Can't smell it anymore. So there you go, if you ever move to Korea, you might not want to live in an old building. Heed my warning, it might be a bit stinky, but I guess they've already thought, why not just put a drain cover on the sink instead of actually a little drain trap in the plumbing? Anyway, after I'd done my cleaning during the week, I actually took time off work to do this. <laughs> um, Hayley was working, so on the weekend she came over to help me. It was really nice. We got the fridge and the washing machine delivered and we waited around. We had a little picnic in the bedroom. She did her best technique <laughs> washing the floors. I am filming it for YouTube. Keep going. Show me your technique. It works. It works. No. <laughs> That's 
not how I would do it, but that's totally okay. <laughs> And uh, we finally got this whole house clean. I will say I don't have any after pictures because they look the same as the before. The landlady actually did leave this place pretty clean when we came in. It was just all of those little bits of rust and the extra things that I wanted to do and come in here and just finish up. So yeah, it's nice and clean now. So ready to move in. I've got loads of moving vlogs coming up, moving out of my old apartment, resetting all the rental hacks I did in there, and sharing a video all about the apartment complex and what it looks like, all the amenities. If you want me to talk about renting in Korea, I can do that as well. And then moving in here, unpacking all of that kind of stuff. Loads of videos filmed, loads to come. I hope you guys stick around. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button. Also, give me a follow over on TikTok because I'm doing some short versions of my moving process over there as well. And I would love to see you over there. So, that's it. I hope you're having a great day if you're moving too. Wishing you all the best of luck because it's a horrible process, but here we are. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!